back to Napoleon Total War with the World War One mod. Um, what did we do last time? Did I defeat? I think it was the Romanians, right? We defeated the Romanians right here. I uh, think that one was the one with the two battles. Yes, the f number th video number three was me defeating the Austrians here. The other one was me defeating the Germans and then defeating the Romanians. So we're gonna go ahead and ma push this army together on the General Mad Max. Someone actually commented and yes, I'm not gonna rename generals who already have names. This guy spawned without a name, that's why I offered him up. And there was also someone that wanted me to rename the Czech Legion, I think it was. And yes, I'll go ahead and rename the Czech Legion. I like the fact that we're getting really good replenishment right in these regions. We're going to push this one forward. Uh, we're not going to be able to reach there anyways. So we might just hold the advantage of getting the really good resupply rate by keeping them on this side. Um, we have troops coming from uh, Ukraine pushing forwards. Um, we've got troops being recruited in Minsk. And I should also say at this point I have been able to upgrade, uh, let's see, what was it? We've got the airplanes researched. So we've we enabled the construction of a small landing strip, which right now we've got fields, but now we can get the small landing strip which might spawn aircraft for us. And since it's only one turn, I imagine I'm going to go for interrupt the gear. Which I think is going to make us have the aircrafts actually able to shoot e the each other down. So the interrupter gear is the c the machine gun on the front is uh, is synchronized with the propeller. I think if I'm uh, yes, gun equipped. Yeah, I think that's basically it. So w it makes sure that you can shoot sort of in between the propeller. And we got this aerial reconnaissance line of sight. That's also one. So I'm going to do that probably as well. Um, time, however, to advance this army. And first, we're going to send the cavalry forwards to take a look. Maybe not go that fast. Oh, so we've got a German army on the way. What do we have? Can I see what they actually have in East Prussia? Can I sneak? through the forest. I snuck too far. I guess we can... Oh, so they got nothing. They do have an army right here. Some ca cannons and stuff. Um, right, this rifle unit's pretty darn banged up. Maybe we'll leave him here. And then the reinforcement guy can come up later. So we're gonna push this guy forwards. Ivan Vasilij. He's going to move forwards. One thing I saw during the, uh, the uh, what's it called, the end of turn was that Great Britain has sent its navy out, so quite a large navy, uh, with an army. I'm not entirely sure where they intend to land it, but they could land it. It looks like they're not going to land it in Oldensburg or towards Hanover. They seem to be going somewhere, I guess, along this coastline, which is good, because then they might run into the the German Navy. And if those two navies fight, then it could give my little navy a chance to slip through and get access to the ivory down here and get tons of cash, which will be very nice and uh, will be very needed. Um, but I guess if we want to have a battle in this episode, I guess it's this army that could go forwards um, to attack this. You know what? We'll wait for this one to come here and probably even capture Königsberg. Um, I think that's a plan. We've got a lot I can upgrade. For some reason, I tried to upgrade these corn. I mean, I've clicked on a lot of them and tried to upgrade them, but nothing really seems to happen. So I'm not entirely sure what's up with that. Factory district. So I can get... What can I get? What's that? Tripilov artillery. And some other strange artillery pieces. 
I guess I could, what I can do is maybe upgrade a bit more in the capitals in, in the back so I get um, all the sort of um, the districts up and ready and we get the um, the uh, sort of what's it called what am I looking for what am I talking about I'm talking about getting the the you know modernizing Russia getting everything together ready to push forwards right now in terms of recruitment we don't have a, a lot of options do we we have the two artillery pieces we have normal line infantry we've got some Jaegers and we got Oblicheni and even in say Petrograd or Moscow it's this it's the same thing we've actually got better upgrading possibilities up in Minsk then we've got back in the capital of course the capital we're going to build not a tr we're going to build sort of towards the training and the the line of um, sort of more the headquarters sti style while you have another line of buildings which goes down to build more of just recruiting troops um, factory district I guess we could do that up here because we'll be getting we're getting the um, the French machine gun and if um, built or if uh, discovered so I guess that could be nice to have here but at the same time we look at the population the poor people they're not very happy so we need to do something about that um, something to increase the overall happiness we could have a communist rebellion on our hands and obviously we don't want that so I just want to quickly see what regions do we have so Moldova the Ukraine Belarus and Estonia Livonia is not too happy but we I guess we could do build it up a bit in the capital build up the industries or if I need to the provincial uh, administration does increase happiness right and maybe a bit does it say happiness anywhere no it just increases uh, I guess we'll have to do some uh, some uh, research to enable that I'm just gonna go ahead and go through check so all the you get some fields up and running as well so we can get some aircrafts okay so there we go you know what let's end turn one thing I noticed today was I guess today if unless I am really slow they uh, released the trailer for the new Total War which is I think it's part of the the Total War saga thing which I haven't really uh, checked out that much because I wasn't that impressed by the first edition of it. It seemed just like a build of Attila, where they had um, it was the the Viking invasion of uh, Great Britain or sort of the British Isles, uh, where you have the the Vikings fighting there, and I wasn't too impressed by it. And also, it was just really like. Um, it seemed mostly like concept art and a bit of you know trailer stuff that you would see of big movies and stuff like that so it wasn't like something gameplay and how we were playing stuff but today they released for the three kingdoms and I, I like the period I, I think the period could be interesting but at the same time looking at it and with the focus of the trailer on these specific like heroes and they were talking about these three heroes and stuff it seemed like maybe it's too much of uh, going towards not that much of the history and more towards the sort of um, uh, mythology of both these periods of the Vikings because that also seemed like you know oh the Vikings so ho ho and so forth and the mythology more behind it and same with the three kingdoms and with the focus on these heroes things how historical is it gonna be and how much is it gonna be sort of a bit more flash and how much history is it gonna be 
Um, but I mean, it they it was just released. It's way too early to tell. But I'm not too impressed at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and do aircrafts then. And um, let's see. We've got a new general ready. Do I have an army to put him in? I don't think so. Nice! The artillery in Ukraine is ready. So that can be dragged up to the front line. And be able to bust those bunkers, which will be really nice. Um, I'm not entirely sure if you've seen it. The thing is, because most of these videos being held back for you know approval of monetization, which sometimes drags on for quite long, this video could be released quite, you know, the uh, there could have happened a lot of stuff in between, and I could be quite late on the subject, as it were. Um, interesting here that the oh, I was uh, saying there were I was just about to say that the Germans seem to have abandoned Königsberg, and then we've got this massive full stacks coming in. Um, I mean, I could move forwards, try to cap it before the attack, but what's the point of that? What we're going to do is, I think, we're going to fall back. We're going to consolidate with the troops we've recently recruited. And then we're going to move up to have one massive, like, Tannenberg battle um, next to Königsberg somewhere. So we'll try also try to get this cannon up to speed. So we get all of this to go into a massive battle against these Germans right here. Um, I'm hiding, you know what, I think I can pass through here now. Possibly. If I can sneak, you know what, I'm gonna sneak up towards Norway. And that way they might not see me through the trade route. And that way I can pass through. And also we get to check out the Norwegians, what they're doing. Um, I've got some militia, they got some so and forth. L looks like I'm un tr planning to invade, <laughs> planning to invade um, Norway. But at least my my trade navy has now managed to get out. So th I guess that's a plan to be able to send the trade navies here, hiding behind Erland, and then moving past up through here. Hopefully, we'll get away, and that the Germans will go ahead and attack the British instead. Um, so that's the plan for this side. Uh, this guy is waiting for uh, the artillery, which will take three turns for them to turn up. But I guess it's time for Mad Max then to go ahead and fight off the Italians. That's going to be interesting to fight the Italians here. It would be interesting if this sort of had the the Shogun style and the the enemy ship would be able to bombard us. Um, I old, one thing that I really like as well is it's so much easier in Shogun to uh, take screenshots for the thumbnails because you press K and everything disappears. You can take a good picture. Um, there's always some stuff left when you do in Napoleon and it's so hard to actually figure it out. Whoa, oh, yes, one thing I should say as well. Um, I have Brand's submod and I have done one more modification and that is I've gone into the preference script and I've removed the shaking camera so when artillery now hits I sh the camera should not um, be shaking so I should freely look at that now I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna apply right now because um, some people were reporting that they this fix or this this setting you can edit uh, reverted back to normal so you had to do it before uh, starting the game every time so I'm not entirely sure if it, this is going to work um, but it should work because I set the file or that, yeah that file to read only so it shouldn't be uh, ed be the game shouldn't be able to edit it afterwards and remove my edit as it were it's complicated stuff I don't know why I'm trying to um, explain it right now. We're gonna auto save just in case it crashes and then forward we go against 7600 Italians only one proper battalion of infantry 
a general with no name against Mad Max and his uh, 4,000 men. So let's go ahead and maybe, you know what, we should nickname his army as well. So we, we should have call this army something like the, the Battle Group South or something like that. Or maybe just Mad Max's Heroes or something like that. Something funny. I don't know what you think. Um, but I, re I really like that thing from the newer games like Attila and Rome. Uh, where they are able to name the armies and stuff like that. So yeah. Without further ado, let's go ahead and defend the little Tartarus. And so here we are on the field of battle. I've decided to move my men in sort of a uh, into a half circle over here and I've entrenched ourselves like this with the trench line going throughout here with a bit of extra here to hide the general behind. And I imagine that the Italians are actually going to uh, march to us because of our artillery. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna move some troops from the front line and uh, redirect some troops. So we'll have uh, some spread out like the light foot on the sides, but kind of hidden. And then they will attack once the enemy tries to attack the trench line. And we'll also keep some men behind here or maybe down here um, as uh, support troops to be able to pull up to the front in case the enemy tries a full on. Uh, bayonet charge. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start this off. Oh yeah, we get the armed citizenry is going to turn up. So I'm going to move back. We're going to move back this one and this one and this one, I think. So these guys will move back. And I will kind of redraw the lines for the troops that are left. This one's going to move I think it's gonna move you know what it could move all the way back here actually um, and that way it will protect the flank because there's some um, impossible terrain back here so if the enemy attack comes tries to attack through here uh, this unit is there to shoot in the enemy in the flank um, this one probably shouldn't be set to hold fire same with the units that I'm moving back now uh, just need to remember to put them back into uh, fire at will mode and then we're going to redraw these lines to fit with the trench and same with these two I think it's gonna have to go a bit on the outside on that side uh, and there we go and then the general I think we're gonna pull him back even a bit further there to uh, get him out of uh, the enemy, the enemy's line of fire. Now I'm hoping the Italians are advancing on us. Our cannons. Let's just go ahead and see if the if the camera shakes when the artillery strikes. So no, it seems it seems as though my fix has worked, and the camera is not shaking as violently as it normal does with the artillery which means that I'm gonna get a lot better close-up views while the artillery bombardment is going on um, given the fact that the enemy is not really doing anything in this point and we kind of just trailing is the general with our artillery um, I think I'm gonna cut here and then I'm gonna come back uh, once I provoke the enemy to attack me. Okay, so at this point we've actually run into the Italians. They were closer than I thought. And a lot of these units have just been hiding in this forest and are now turning up. And this one, like, literally just turned up right here and started firing on my armed citizenry that I've moved into the forest here uh, to try to figure out where the Italians were hiding and suddenly there's lots of Italians everywhere and Our they seem to running, be coming all along the line now we see some Italians coming over there the general is over there we've got conscript unit now starting to fight with the um, with the main sort of bunker line 
and the armed situation is being pushed back as more and more Italian troops are turning up and so there's no point in advancing the armed citizenry anymore these guys only have like pistols or something I don't know what they have let's get these guys then situated here this guy which only has melee attack can move over there and these guys which are close range can move over here and this unit I guess shot or I guess this one was the one that shot down the general it would be nice if you actually took cover behind my nicely built bunker with the rest of uh, the troops start shooting down the Italian troops which are moving up so there's a lot of Italian conscripts moving up our armed Sir. citizenry Sir. has been broken and uh, the Italians are moving up here under artillery fire and under constant fire from the bunker line. Um, and as we can see here, I can get really close up, look at the uh, what's going on, look at the explosions without having the screen violently jerking around. So the main front uh, assault here of the Italians are pushing back. We've got more units though, as we know, there are 7,000, almost 8,000 Italians out there. This unit and this one, god damn it, don't move, you dogs. Stay in your position, god damn it, stay in your position. This one is yet not able to help just yet. I need to keep these guys in line, god damn it. Um, so the Italians... They are coming closer. Let's see, armed citizenry should be able to help soon against this one. Um, the Italians, they are moving up. And given the superior numbers, they might still be able to cut us down. There's a heavy movement of Italian conscripts moving up here. But we are pushing in the artillery right here god damn it stop moving like that why on earth do you think that's a good idea who's in charge of these two lines and they're about to be overrun anyways okay so at this point the uh, uh, the Yegi unit there can open fire we're gonna get this guy this unit to come up because the Italians are closing in way too close over there uh, we're gonna get this one out in skirmish formation help these guys on the flank um, this one's gonna replace that one in the center and I think this one will come closer to the center general needs to be put into safety because he's actually taking quite a few hits so he's gonna be put behind cover here and you can see the Italians coming in we are able to break them with the artillery strikes but there's just so many of them Look at all them, they're coming down over here. The guys coming in over here. Now luckily I am pushing in aid here. It looks like the Italian might be going for a bayonet charge against this, this line right here. They're firing as best they can. We can see a number of Italian troops falling back. Some regaining confidence of pushing forwards. This, these guys, looks like there's a charge going on. And uh, quite amply the artillery is focusing in on this area. Damn, they're dropping like flies as they advance here. Oh, they're going in for the charge. Keep up the fire. Oh, so this unit One decided of our units to move, has used all its ammunition, move out. Sir. Who's used all its ammo? It's armed citizenry, is it not? We've got an Italian conscript. Charge conscripts, charge. I mean, charge armed citizenry. I'm gonna focus in the armed citizenry. These guys armed with only like pistols or some shit. Gonna get them to open fire. Get this one to open fire. This one, don't like that they move, they decide to sort of move on an angle like that. This one will open fire as well. Nicely done by the infantry to push these Italians off. I think this one is to follow. 
Italians here though, really close up to our lines. Come on, get firing. Arms it, oh they, oh I thought they had shotguns, it looked like they had some kind of shotgun, but for some reason they have some kind of rifles that don't reach very far. And over on this side we've got the armed citizenry charging in into Our the Italian conscripts. And uh, it's not going too well, but at least they're holding up some of the Italian advance. Um, lots of Italians retreating here. They've got another try going in here with conscripts. See how that's going to go. If you could stay behind cover, that would be nice. You know what? This one's down to 86 men. Retire that unit and bring this one forward instead. And then if you could hold your bloody well, bloody positions, that would be awesome. That would be very appreciated. The armed citizenry here that I sent in to combat the conscripts. Uh, not going too well as we sent them in with knives. Um, the Italian ca oh, the Italian captain was stabbed or shot, I'm not entirely sure, because we're shooting in. Uh, this unit back here is shooting in. Glorious victory, so, uh, is soon to be oh, yours. we're focusing in like hell on this unit right now. And they're dropping like flies. And so is most of the Italian army at this point falling back. Uh, not a lot of them left. So they tried their best coming in in mass attacks. 7,000, 8,000 maybe Italians moving forwards across these fields. And uh, I guess they're going to scurry back to their ships, go back to Italy. And uh, they're never going to forget who touched their spaghetti. Mr. Spaghetti, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to go home. Russia is no place for you. We have one conscript unit kind of trying to stand. Oof. Just look at the kind of machine gun fire of the rifles coming in. Just murdering everyone. And the Italian army is in more or less full retreat. Um, this unit as well got butchered. And there it's over. The Italians have lost. Tons of Italians scattered over the fields. We lost quite a few Russians as well up on the line. But they held. They, I mean, everyone who's fought Russia knows that Russia is hellish in their defense. And they've always been um, that way. So... Uh, Maybe not a surprise that we were able to beat the Italians here, the Italian conscript army. Doesn't look like there's a unit above 200 that survived this. Kind of interestingly enough, the first unit of the Italian that got routed was the line infantry that was just marching up here and was ambushed by my armed citizenry and was shot to pieces and fled. You can't see it anymore because, well, I don't know where it is among all of this. I don't think it recovered. Um, but there we have it. You know what? Hold fire. Such a massacre right here if you look at the bodies. Just goring it up right now. With all the, uh, with all the dead people lying scattered over the fields. Anyways, let's go ahead and on a lighter note, end this battle. Right, nice, decisive victory for Mad Max and his fearless defenders. This is uh, number five, right. Back to the campaign map. And here we have the statistics of the battle. 5,000 men deployed on our side. Now, you're gonna have to remember that a lot of that was armed citizenry. We lost 2,000 possibly mostly on citizenry. The Italians had 7,600 men. They lost 6,100, leaving 1,500 left to go home uh, to Italy. 
we killed about 200 of our own um, and the enemy killed about well, 60 of their own roughly highest killer was uh, one of the infantry units they deployed 400 men they lost 81 they killed 1376 enemies highest ranking it, it didn't get an experience for that which I'm kind of surprised well this one got for killing 900 uh, artillery piece here got one experience and they killed 700 uh, some armed citizenry did pretty well we've got one here that killed 180 and that's about it for that and the Italians are pushed off and little Tartary is safe and uh, Mad Max is gonna move and take control make sure that he holds this and then he's gonna push forwards and uh, finalize the, uh, the Italian defeat um, maybe I should put some effort into actually building up a port here and try to fighting the Ottomans uh, with my navy because this could be a port to get into some valuable areas of trade like the coffee here because we're going to advance Mad Max through this area at some point down towards Istanbul and complete a goal of the Russians to um, take over and control Constantinople. Gonna recruit some more troops. Uh, we're probably gonna need some more artillery, especially for uh, uh, the army of Mad Max. He's gonna need some more artillery. Right now we're gonna send all this artillery up to this guy because he's gonna need it uh, we had the plan over there, so uh, did I change? Yes, research is now for aircrafts. Let's go ahead and end the turn and see what the enemy does. And after that, I think we're going to have to end the video. So the Hungarians, the Austro-Hungarians, they're moving through the mountains. They're retreating some troops into Poland. And they kind of... Oh, Romanians are back. God damn it, stupid Romanians. Why do they persist? Now they've got an even smaller army, but uh, the uh, the region or Moldova is open for attack. It's also going to be interesting to see if Germany goes ahead and tries to chase down my navy, or if it's allowed to go through. Um, we've got Great Britain. What are they doing? They're sending forth an army, an expeditionary force to be land against the Germans. The Italians they decide, you know what, we're gonna skedaddle down to your port and burn it. Or maybe they're gonna load the troops up there. Um, I've got a... Ooh, no, 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 no. Not chase my navy. No! But I've got the ability to retreat. Uh, so it's all cargo ships. Oh, shit. Am I able to tell me they're not gonna follow me up? I guess I'm... Yes! Ooh! <sighs> nice I'm able to get away uh, aerial reconnaissance very nice uh, what's this a single unit was recruited and now I can skedaddle towards um, towards Great Britain out on the great seas the enemy will hopefully not see me as these trade routes are I get they're controlling this trade route for the Deutsches Reich but we're speeding headlong towards uh, Scotland then we're gonna go down and we're gonna get that ivory and that's gonna get us a lot of cash I one thing that I notice of this army it's all cargo ships they've all built cargo ships which means that if I may build a sizable navy to actually fight the um, the Germans here I could uh, possibly quite easily uh, take them down and capture a lot of those ships increasing my revenue even more um, so we were moving these guys back to make sure that they were uh, organized a little bit better um, so this one just waiting we got this guy he's gonna go join this do we have any more troops being recruited there no uh, we're gonna add this one on and have these guys as support then um, for this one I'm moving up I'm gonna wait maybe no we're not gonna wait actually we uh, gonna march back oh there's a German um, back to the bridge 
and you're gonna hold this bridge. So we're holding the bridges, stopping the Germans from advancing here. They might try to go around uh, to go through here, but uh, yeah, hopefully not. Um, right, we need more troops and we're gonna need a small airfield. Can I recruit troops up front? I can recruit troops over here as well. So we need troops here, definitely. Noth no nothing really happening on this side, or it not as much as up there. Let's see, the Romanians bringing shit, as always. Uh, Mad Max, is he gonna trail these guys? No. Um, this unit, I guess, in spread out formation, possibly, they could. You know what I should have done? I should have moved them to the bridge. Then I probably could have killed these off. They've lost the general. Uh, there's only like the biggest unit is probably like 120. If they came one by one at the bridge, this unit could probably have just cut them all down. Uh, Mad Max, anyway, is going to retreat from there. He's going to make sure that the Romanians do not get to attack this region. Um, so and so forth. Now it would actually be nice to have the cavalry unit come in and attack these guys. But I think even in this state, they probably would put up quite the fight, even though they're uh, so broken. Um, let's see. Administration. What I was thinking was upgrading the towns to the point where I can turn the towns, like this one, into warehouses. But I wouldn't do it at this region. I would do it at front regions where we need the uh, the resupply and at some point I guess somewhere we need to build one of these factories uh, what I can do also to deal with the fact that we've got some unrest in some regions is I was thinking about getting buildings and stuff to deal with it but I guess the easiest is just to have conscript battalions stationed in these regions so let's see what regions they were now a lot of these are regions that we actually recruit troops in, or mo you know what all all of them are regions that we recruit troops in. Um, but I guess we can increase it in even in regions that we don't have troops. So increase the um, the obligenes in regions that we don't really normally uh, recruit troops, and like like little Tartary, they can have two. Uh, like this one, which we don't have anything in, uh, like Lithuania, like uh, Latvia, to get those up and running. But I think we're going to end it here, and next time we'll see whether the Germans decide to attack here, or if maybe we can do even so many turns to the point where this army can actually push forward and attack this region because they moved the they actually moved the bunkers away at this point and that's giving me of the opportunity to actually win and take that oh they've got archduke william wilhelm of austria that's kind of a grand target to take out that army anyways we defeated mr spaghetti so he's uh, trying to get home hopefully and hopefully he'll stay home and realize that, you know what, fighting wars is not really an Italian thing anymore. So we're just going to stay doing the pizza and the pasta. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.